Busy day for everybody. Oh, yeah. We'll just sink and then you can I'm tell sure. the story. It is a story that I've been waiting to hear for forever as well. Yeah. Yeah, so. seven years ago, um, I was uh, in my doctor's office and I was, uh, I was at a routine check and cleared my throat. And Peter, my doctor, says to me, he says, Oh, what's that all about? Can I have a listen before you go? They sent me to a respirologist and they figured out I had idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or IPF for the short acronym. And idiopathic in the medical world means that they just simply have no answers. They don't know why. So uh, the, the ultimate end of the story is I have to have a double lung transplant. So when I started doing this car about uh, two and a half years ago now, okay. I wasn't unsure I was even going to make it to, okay. to the see the end of which we did on Sunday or on yeah. Saturday. Because there's certainly days where you wake up and you're not well, and I have to race to the hospital, and I'm going, well, you know, maybe this is the end. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. the car is on the hoist. Yeah. Or it's upside down, or it's, it's yeah. getting sandblasted, or, or whatever, right? And when I bought this car, uh, I actually walked into the dealership that yeah. day to buy a Corvette. But he said, no, you can't have that. And I said, what? He says, yeah, the only thing you can have is the silver anniversary. So I sat down and said, okay, what's my next plan B? Yeah. He says, well, we can get a Z28 or something like that. Yeah. Will that be okay? I said, well, man, okay, let's put the book out here and have a look. Yeah. So we pulled the brochures out and I said, okay, we'll have this, 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 and this. And actually all the, all the paperwork's right yeah. here. Have it all here. I said, okay, well, let's get on the bottom there. He says, yeah, 8,800 bucks. I says, okay, no problem. My deposit there on the go. table. And yeah. Yeah, it'll be about six weeks. I said, perfect, no problem. I'll, I'll hitchhike for six weeks. April 30th, it comes in. I got it for about four or five days. And that weekend, um, put my roof racks on it. Off to Whistler I go. Wow. Skiing. <laughs> you know, doing the old James Bond, Aston Martin thing. Yeah. Through, through yeah. the old highway to Whistler. Right? Oh, yeah. How much fun is that, right? Yeah. Brand new tires, four speed. Yeah. You know, no, no, no music in it because yeah. I ordered it Radio Delete. Yeah. Which today is still Radio Delete. Yeah. Um, and I and I had lots of other cars kind of coming circulating around in my world, but but I just never ever uh, altered the the Camaro. Yeah. I just kept it the way it was. It, I was never happy with the power. Uh, okay. I mean, it was it, it was one hundred and seventy eight horsepower. Yeah. It was actually six more horsepower than Pontiac at that time yeah. uh, because it had actually had a dual exhaust. Uh, it's, it's a bit loud because there's no catalytic converters in it. There's no resonators or anything to bring it down. So it's a bit, and it's a little larger pipe now than it was then. But, but other than that, this is the, really the only alter, alterations yeah. to it that's ever had. It's numbers matching all original. You know, it's it's not it's not all about big tires and, and super big headers and and car, carburation sticking through the hood. It had gone 40 years without that. It was almost sacrilege to feel like I was going to start taking it apart to change it, alter it all the way after keeping it that way for 40 years, right? It just didn't make sense to me to do that. I mean, I've done that with lots of other cars, but you know what? Just the way it is, it's really nice to drive. Yeah. There was a reason that, you know, General Motors worked so hard to get all the suspension and all the rest of that stuff. They called F41 was the order package in those days, you know, special shocks and had special frames, uh, frame supports underneath. It had different size brakes. I mean, it had all kinds of other, all kinds of components. Anyway, so I just never felt like I should change that. But you know, I think it's it's a, it's a, a tribute to the way things were. You know, it's just it's just 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 keep it the way it was. I had race engines at home. I could have put in the car. Yeah. I, had, I had piles of parts there. I could just put it on the car, no problem. <laughs> and I never did. And as you saw on Saturday, it's you know worthwhile to 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 do that. I don't recommend that anybody try to restore a car back to numbers original unless yeah. you've ordered it from the factory yourself. You have to try to restore plastic pieces, which are darn hard to do, uh, and it's because the plastic was brittle. Yeah. Right. So you got to have good good plastic pieces even to work with. And lots of guys when they customize the cars, bye bye plastic. Bye bye plastic. Yeah. Exactly. They put whatever. Right. But but this was the numbers matching thing. It's rare. It's yeah. just rare as rare as rare as rare can be now. The motor is still, as you saw, yeah. it's fed the Chevy GM blue. Yeah. You know, it, it, the valve covers are GM blue. The intake yeah. manifold's GM blue. I mean, it's all, all anti-pollution gear is still yeah. all there. And then chasing parts, that's another whole thing too. The year, that's that's a, an art in itself. Can yeah. you get the dash panel? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, there's so many things that you can't. Yeah. Uh, the interior, because it came with Berlinetta and saw a cloth interior. To get that actual corduroy that they used, that 
exact whale of corduroy. Yeah. Well, numbers have changed from then because I'm in the garment business. Yeah. Um, corduroy is measured differently now than it was then, but you can still get something that's really, really close. You have to have yeah. both fabrics right together in front of you, but you have to have the right eye to it and you have to have the old example. So now what's the next step for you with your Camaro? <laughs> well, your lips to God as far as the lungs are concerned. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, because I'm somewhat stable okay. and um, they've got me on the bottom of the priority list, which is a very good place to be as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the other side, as far as the Camaro is concerned, well, you know, it's spring drive. It's, it's fun. I, I intend to drive it as much as possible. I have a whole bunch of friends that I, I travel the province all the time yeah. uh, for work, uh, working with Carhartt. Um, you know, my territory BC and Yukon, actually. But uh, so I have all kinds of road trips in front of me. I yeah. not that I'll use it for work, but but adventures, car wise. Yeah. I will drive it like crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I. I mean, I got friends that are sitting on Sun Peaks. I got friends sitting at, at uh, Big White. I got yeah. friends in Kelowna. I got friends on Vancouver Island, up north and south on yeah. and Tofino's. I mean, I got all kinds of road trips all over the place. <laughs>